Catherine Destivelle has been climbing since she was a schoolgirl. Now she's 28 and one of the best rock climbers in the world. This time she's in Africa, getting some local advice for a new climb. She's a freestyle climber, one who climbs solo and without ropes. These Dogon tribesmen can't believe that tomorrow she'll attempt to climb their steepest cliff without using any ropes. They're saying that if she should have a fit of sanity and change her mind, then she's welcome to use one of their splendid ropes. The Dogons scale the cliff by rope as a matter of course, but the notion that someone would choose to climb it using only hands and feet strikes them at the least as perverse. This is the western edge of the Sahara. Above the village, the Bandiagara cliffs rise to a rock plateau that stretches for 200 miles. Catherine, with an escort of Dogon women, plans to make her freestyle ascent at the most difficult point. It's market day and promising to become a carnival. Everyone's turned up in anticipation of the amazing sideshow to be staged by this strange white woman. <laughs> the man in the saffron robe accompanying Catherine to her starting point is a witch doctor who's modernized. Under his robe, he's got a jazz trumpet. He's going to blow a magic cadenza or two to bless her on her way. Bon, maintenant, je vais te jouer ma trompette pour vous. Allons-y. For the next 300 feet or so, Catherine's life will, quite literally, hang on the strength of her fingers and the sureness of her foothold. She uses no climbing aids of any kind, just a bag of chalk to dry the sweat on her palms and improve her grip on the rock.
She tried climbing with a team, but found she preferred going solo. She hates the idea of being roped to someone else. She gets nervous, she says, when she has to depend on others. Catherine began rock climbing in the forests of northern France when she was 14, and then graduated to the French and Italian Alps. This rocky plateau was once the kingdom of the Telem Pygmies. They scratched a precarious existence amongst the crags and crevasses. They chose this perilous high life to escape their aggressive and bigger neighbors. But by the 12th century, even the Pygmies had abandoned this barren rockscape. Catherine is rated one of the fastest freestyle climbers in the world, men included. She's won speed climbing contests all over Europe. And now the lure of a new challenge in West Africa and a small inducement from a filmmaker has brought her to this rock face on the Bandiagara cliffs. This is one of the ancient burial chambers of the Telem Pygmies, although some of the skeletons she notes are more recent than that, the sort of place for a failed freestyle climber perhaps. But she's not at the top yet, the last pitch to the summit is the most dangerous stretch of all. Back at ground level, the celebration party has already started. <laughs> the Dogon women are honoring Catherine as a great new heroine. After all, she's just done what none of their menfolk could do. Catherine Destivelle, down from the Golden Cliffs of Mali. I find it hard to believe that any human being could accomplish what we've just seen her do.